and Saturday afternoon it's what quarter to four and as you can see nice day you could you could also say gorgeous day so um, in the forest I was trying to make another video regarding forest management in Slovenia but you know we saw the squirrels we saw some dogs we met some dogs and of course I afterwards I realized that I stopped recording so I don't know how much I actually recorded so I said okay let's redo the main part so yeah um, forest management in Slovenia so let's say you are a landowner that also has some forest and you want to cut some trees are you allowed to cut the trees yourself yes but ni kujata ni ni dan today not the oh the small one is here yes um so yeah do can you physically cut the trees down yourself yet are you allowed to no why because you need prior authorization we have so-called you know regional foresters which are you know public officials who are in charge for all the forest in his or her you know area so and if you want to cut any trees on your property you have to first apply for permission you know to the regional forester and he will consult his data you know projected allowed numbers of trees or uh, let's see, I assume cubic meters of firewood uh, wood that can be you know harvested from the forests in his area and based on that and all the other applications he will then decide if this is okay and then the forester will actually visit the forest and then decided which trees will be cut down so i assume here they go trying to go in hand and hand with you know hand in hand with the owners you know let's say the owner say i want to clear oh screaming Oh, you know, I want to clear this and this land, uh, th trees. I want to cut down these trees because of this and this. And you know, if the forester doesn't mind, you know, he will mark the trees accordingly. So, and only then, you know, when the selection, you know, official selection is done, completed, you can. Uh, cut the trees down so yeah and you know the foresters then have you know quite a um, let's say important task on their you know shoulders you know to prevent deforestation in their areas to keep the trees the forests intact healthy but still you know commercially viable so yeah this is how let's say private public forestry management is done in slovenia and of course they can also they have a mandate and jurisdiction to let's say impose or uh, you know for example you know if they 
they can inspect you know forests the trees and if they come to the conclusion that the trees in some forest are unhealthy or the forest isn't managed properly you know they have ability to find or order you know forestry work to be done and of course this has to be paid by the forest owner property owner but I said you know a lot of times especially if let's say for example the value of the wood is you know quite high um, a lot of times they will try to with you know these forestry companies to make like a deal that you know they will do the work for let's say free no payment or the payment is in the number two in the wood they will chop down okay let's end here